Hey everyone, it's Warriors NRL Fanatics here. This is going to be my brief post-game reaction to the Newcastle Knights versus the One New Zealand Warriors Round 6 NRL fixture, which was played at McDonald Jones Stadium in Newcastle on the Sunday night here. So yeah, look, uh, look going into this game, you know, I was quite nervous, quite confident. You know, I had mixed, had mixed feelings going into this one. You know, Harris, Toe Harris was named originally in the team list on Tuesday. But, look, in, in my opinion, I don't think he was even going to play, even though he did get ruled out later on in the weekend. Uh, you know, we had some um, shuffling in the team. We had uh, the likes of Josh Curran come into the starting side as well. And I thought, look, I, I always thought this this game was going to be tough and very and very uh, challenging for, for the Waz. And, look, the Knights, you know... Aren't a team to be underestimated. They had a draw against the Seagulls, a brave showing coming back from coming from behind to to snatch a draw. And I thought this was always going to be tough in Newcastle, down there at the Knights' home ground. There, so you know this game. Obviously, my biggest hope was that we started the game better, but that didn't happen. Um, you know, no shock again. The Warriors can see in the first try. Uh, Early on in the first half, and it was a try to Dominic Young, and uh, you know the Knights just got a bundle and bundle of possession. You know their players were just you know oozing with confidence. You can tell that this Knights team were confident. You know they were really up for the up for the contest, and you know Dominic Young getting that early try did help and got the crowd into the game as well, and. The Warriors just could not go with them, you know. Position wise, the Knights were just dominant, and uh, you know the the Warriors did try to get back in it a couple of times, you know, getting a couple of tries there. But you know, going into half time, that try killer blow there, you know, getting an, another try before half time there. Uh, Knights going up by twenty two points to six at half time, and then that second half, you know, the hope for me was that the Warriors. You know, look, the Warriors, despite that scoreline at half time, you know, the heads weren't down. You know, they they weren't looking like a team that were panicking. You know, same as Cronulla. You know, same as the Cronulla game, they didn't look like they were panicking despite the scoreline. And that was my only hope. You know, going into the second half, that the Warriors could take a lot of from what that game was against Cronulla, and hopefully take it into the second half against the Knights. But you know. You always think to yourself, you know, it doesn't often happen twice. It really doesn't often happen twice. And, you know, it was great and all, but, look, it doesn't usually happen two times in a, in a week. And uh, two times in a, in a week. And, and uh, the Warriors did. They did manage to get it back to 22 points to 18, which is full credit to us. You know, a couple of changes um, to the, to the um, back line in that second half. You know, Bailey Sirenin playing hooker. You know, Wade Egan coming off with an injury was, wasn't was great. You know, also, I think, came off with concussion as well. So, you know, the 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 thing that really started to affect the side, especially, but to our credit, our effort was still there. And, uh, you know, then we had the likes of Tamari Martin come off with an injury, and I'm thinking, yeah, this is going to be a tall ass. It's going to be really difficult. And just like that, the Knights, you know, 34 points to 24 in the end. Look, and look, personally, I thought the Knights going to half time, 22 6 up. You know, I think the scoreline, I mean, I, I think that scoreline for the Knights, you know, I no doubt about it, the Knights deserve to lead at half time, but I think that margin probably wasn't a fair reflection, in my opinion. You know, that try that the Warriors got denied off an obstruction call. Now, look, I think. Uh, I don't know that 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 could have gone fifty. That could have gone either way. I mean, I don't know what you got to say about that call, but and saying that, look, you know that second half, you know the the Warriors, you know kept the Knights scoreless for quite a bit there, and then the Knights, to their credit, you know just did enough to win. You know, and, and full credit to the Knights. Look, for me, they deserve to win the game. They were the best side on the field. You know, the Warriors just you know can't you can't concede thirty points. And expect to win a game of footy. You just can't do it. Even though we did beat the Sharks the previous weeks. But we've got to fix those slow starts. You know, that is that is what I take. Out of all our games this year, 
and um, unfortunately I'm gonna have to repeat it in this video we got to fix it we really do we've got to fix it because quality sides like Penrith Brisbane uh, Rabbitohs you know Melbourne I gotta put 50 on you if you don't yeah if you if you don't you know fix that up you know you, you, it's it's just you know I don't know what it is I don't know what why why we're starting so slowly in games and hopefully Andrew Webster fixes this sorts this out but yeah I mean it, it's something we need to look at moving forward but yeah defense is not good you know our attack's great you know we're looking great in attack Sean Johnson I thought had another particularly good game um. I thought Serena was all right actually coming off the bench. Actually, I thought he did an all right job. But, yeah, look, I mean, hopefully we get the likes of Harris back next week or Mitchell Barnett. Fingers crossed at least one of those two comes back next week. If it's both of them, it'll be a huge bonus. But now we've just lost Wade Egan. He's going to be out for a while. Tamari Martin, we're not going to see him for the next couple of weeks, no doubt about it. So you'd think Ronald Volkman will come back into the starting side um, playing the house of Johnson. You think Freddie Lusk will come into the hooker spot for Wade Egan, but yeah, look, Knights, you know, to sum it up, Knights is too good. Warriors' defence, not good enough in the game. Um, you know, there is plenty of resolve and effort shown. You know, there's no denying that that effort's still there. It, it's just that we're just giving ourselves too much to do, and I think, unfortunately, this time it's come back to bite us, you know, in the arse there. So, Yep, well done to the Knights. I mean, it's it's personally, look, I am not panicking after this loss at all. It's one loss. Move on, regroup to next week. Cowboys next week. It's going to be interesting to see what team we name. Cowboys will be desperate as well. But, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments on the game, down in the comments below. What are your thoughts? And, um, yeah, make sure you do subscribe to the channel as well. Click that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. If you are a new viewer to this channel, you haven't done so, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It really does help, shows your support for the content that I do, and also it really does help the algorithm as well. So make sure you like this video as well. Don't forget to click the thumbs up on the video, guys. And uh, make sure you do share this video around also. And, um, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers, everyone.